Hey music producers, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. I'm having a really awesome day because my sub pack S2 just arrived. Yes. I ordered it uh, yesterday and it actually arrived today, which I was super, super impressed with. Um, so I've been thinking about getting the sub pack uh, for quite a little while. Um, let me just pause this for a second. Okay, so we're back now. Um, so yeah, this is the sub pack box. I've been thinking about it getting it for quite a little while. Um, I think it was Basclef who first introduced me to the idea and I've been thinking about it and the trouble is it's the sort of thing that you can't really try out unless you go to some like music conference thing which I haven't been to recently so I couldn't try it out but I just thought I've heard so many good things about it um, and I saw it in a Maddox masterclass that he uses it to get the perfect um, low end punch on his mixes and I absolutely love Maddox music so I thought screw it, um, let's give it a try. So let's unbox this here now. Again I'm going to have to apologise because I'm currently unboxing it with my phone. Yeah so I'm currently unboxing it with my phone because I couldn't find my GoPro and it probably wouldn't be charged if I found it anyway. So let's open it up like this. It's a really nice box. Wow, it's it's right there. So um, this is the actual sub pack. Let's just get it out of the box. I'm doing this one hand. Oh, oh, it's quite heavy actually. Um, it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. It's uh, connected by the cable. Wow. It sounds stupid, but I wasn't really expecting it to weigh much. But I guess there's quite a lot of stuff going on in there. So this is the sub pack. Feels like a really good quality piece of kit, which is awesome. It wasn't cheap, it was about uh, 250 GBP delivered, uh, but I live in Guernsey which is a VAT free zone, so that's why I probably got it cheaper than you can get it, uh, but I did have to pay for postage. So that's really cool, um, just going to put that on my desk there, doing this one handed can be a little bit tricky, and then put that over there. Okay, so in here we've got sub pack logo again, oh this is the strap that you attach it to the chair with, because I have the S2 which is the seated version. Again, something else with the strap. I'm just going to put that here. My studio is a bit of a mess. I'm put this on here. Some foam. So actually in a very well packaged box. Um, by the way, I apologise if my unboxing video skills are pretty shocking. I don't really do them very often. Um, although I have been doing some recently. This is the unit, I guess, that um, the audio cables plug into, which is cool. Um, I literally haven't plugged this. This, this, plugged this in. This is the first time I've um, even got it out of the box because it arrived uh, just earlier today. The power cable, which is cool. Um, so there's two versions of the sub pack that I'm aware of. You've got the seated one, which is the one here. And then there's another one you can get, which is essentially like a backpack that you wear, um, which is like portable, but for me I, I don't understand why you'd want it to be portable because you'd always want to be in the studio making music for the, that kind of thing, but I guess it's cool if somebody really likes their music or movies and wants to take it on the plane with them or whatever and get a real good experience to enhance it with their headphones. Some power cables, has it got the UK adapter? Yes it has, winning! Um, so yeah, that's the box. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on my lovely comfortable studio chair and see what it feels like, um, see how easy it is to get on. Hey guys, I'm back again and I've set up the sub pack. I've strapped it to this chair. It's right here. Got the logo there so you can see. Cool. Um, so yeah, it took me about 5-10 minutes to set it up and I've strapped it to my chair. It's, um, takes a little bit, bit getting used to if you've been used to sitting on this chair for a while um, and it's plugged in via this cable and I've strapped the control you can see that there to the armrest um, where basically your headphones would go in and the audio input is here and then this controls the intensity and then you've got the power button switch it off switch it on and then this is my normal sub Goes to the cable, uh, goes to the power, plugged in, and then 
my Apogee Duet sound card. I've got the headphones jack going into it like this, straight into this. And then my headphones, if I actually had them, unfortunately I don't have them today with me, would go into there. And <laughs> I've just uh, opened up Ableton and listened to the About Me remix that I did. That if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. It's on my channel somewhere. And yeah, I'm just listening to the track, the full master that I did. And <laughs> as soon as I, I felt the bass kick, it I just started laughing because I just wasn't expecting it. It is like really, really something. You just instantly feel it. It's like you're at the front of a festival and the bass just goes right through you. Um, yeah, I can see this being extremely helpful for getting a tight low end in your mixes, definitely. Um, I can't wait to actually do a proper mix down. I, actually, I finished a track uh, two or three days ago, so I might do the proper mix down this weekend. I'll let you know how I get on, because I think the results using this is going to be so cool, because... Yeah, you don't have to make music in, an, in a treated room now. Um, you can just use high quality headphones, a sub pack. And yeah, I think you gone are the days where you need to stick this like crap up in your room. Um, not that it makes a massive difference anyway. Because um, my mix is on, on my focals and, and my sub um, down there. And then that's what I've been doing recently and I don't I don't get bad results um and I've also been using my um Barodynamic headphones I think they're the DT 770s or I don't know the exact model but I've been using those um just to sort of check everything in in like a treated environment so headphones and I've been getting okay results but I can't wait to hear the results I'm going to be getting in using with using the sub pack in combination as another point of reference, I am so excited. Normally, I don't like doing the mix down as much as making a normal track, but um, yeah, I'm actually so excited to be doing a mix down on the sub pack this weekend. Um, so yeah, it just straps on like so, um, and it's so cool. In fact, I'm going to see if you can see it vibrating. So if you can hear that, there's something going crazy in here. If you can hear this, I don't know. It's like rattling my chair away. It actually made me jump and laugh the first time I heard it. Turn up the intensity, see if you can hear it. Crazy. Okay guys, that's it from me. I will let you know how I get on um, with the sub pack this weekend. Uh, like, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, comment below if you have a sub pack, if you have any mixing tips, that kind of thing. And uh, see you guys in the next one.